Well, greetings from Tracy, California. I hope your day's going well. I want to start off really quickly. Uh, when I was heading down here, I was bringing a bunch of nuke boxes, those pro nuke boxes. And uh, there was a gentleman by the name of Juan who stopped to help me uh, because I had to rearrange the whole load and it was a pain in the butt. And Juan stopped and turned out that he's a beekeeper that watches our YouTube channel. And he said that, uh, in his words, that my videos have helped him keep his bees alive, which that is what these videos are all about. I cannot tell you, and I, and I have people actually tell me that on a pretty regular basis. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you to those of you who have shared that with me. Uh, it's really not complicated. Mites, mites and nutrition. And I was actually just saying that to a gentleman who I say is a mentor of mine. The guy is brilliant. He's been a beekeeper for decades. And he'd said, Kevin, you're missing one other thing, and that is queens uh, genetics. You've know, got to make sure you have good, young, virile queens. So three things, mites, nutrition, and queens. And that's really it. And, and it's not complicated. You just have to be very diligent to make sure that you're treating for mites. And, uh, and that's kind of the purpose. Uh, once again, thank you, Juan, so much if you're watching this. Thank you so much for stopping and helping me the other day. Really appreciate that. Uh, the main gist of this video was just I posted a picture of the, it, it's, it's the alcohol wash container, jar, if you will. Um, and we actually finally just got them in store, in our retail store in Rochester, if you want to swing by and pick them up. Uh, I can say with total confidence that if you have bees, you should own one of these. Uh, how you use them, what it is, I'll put a link to somebody else's YouTube video, ironically, but it's a really good instructional video on how you use them. Uh, I think I did one at some point, but I, I don't feel like going through our videos and looking for them, so I'll just do a new one here in the next couple of weeks or so. But um, they're, uh, we're selling them for 18 bucks, and it's, it is well worth it. They're, they're usually around $20 uh, when you order them uh, from any of the other bee outlets. But they're just so important because if you don't have control of your mites, and, and for those of you whose bees made it through the winter and they're looking strong, congratulations, because chances are really good that you had a mite knockdown and or started with mite numbers that were low enough that uh, it didn't inhibit the bees from wintering successfully. But you want to treat now. You definitely want to treat now. For those of you who uh, the bees have made it through the winter, but maybe there's just a small ball of them or whatever, uh, chances are good that you might have high mite levels and viral issues. Uh, even if you don't have high mite issues, it may be viral issues that got uh, just got a hold in the hive in the fall, uh, late summer, last fall, and are impeding the growth of that hive. So just you really want to get on. If you have bees that are alive, no matter what size they are, definitely get on those mite treatments. Uh, as far as reporting down here in California, it's my little cabin behind me here. Um, it is a mess. I mean, like just weather-wise, it's a mess. And I was talking with a couple really large uh, queen breeders down here and they're they're going forward uh they're they're saying that they just need to start um with their queen cells which they have uh we're going to start queen selling next week and just keep our fingers crossed um one gentleman who's been a queen breeder for decades was telling me that in the past they've had times where it would be a spring like this albeit not as much rain this is this is historic but cold and uh, they'll get one or two days where it's in the 60s mid 60s uh, nearing up to 70 and the queens will get mated successfully uh, for their operations so that's kind of a quick in a nutshell report we're still waiting to get bees out of uh, Williams area just because it's so messy um, one, one of the orchards down in Turlock area, <laughs> the one guy uh, was pulling our bees out and then the uh, farmer called him and said, wait, 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 we're getting good weather and there's still some blooms left. And so even though the farmer had released him, he asked if we could st uh, keep them there a little longer, which, you know, of course we can. 
And so it's just kind of a mess. It's, it's a mess. Everyone's try, scrambling to try and get back on their schedule of what they need to be doing for their bees. And, uh, and I'm in the middle of it too, but the bees are looking good. Uh, we're going to go out and do some feeding tomorrow. So anyways, a little update. Uh, we'll catch you later. And thanks again, Juan, for all your help. I uh, really appreciate you stopping by and uh, literally sharing the load. Bye-bye.